Hey YouTube, how you guys doing out there? For those of y'all who've been here before, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. And for those of y'all who have no idea who I am, allow me to introduce myself. What is I says me, Cisco Soldier, aka Apple Trey. Welcome back to the channel. Thank y'all for coming back to Hey listen, just finished uh, C173 scripting and programming, right? Um, just took the test like five minutes ago, so I'm gonna tell y'all about it. Um, basically, like I say, the class, uh, as far as difficulty level, I wouldn't say it's the hardest class. It's not the easiest class, right? But starting off, uh, I think what threw me off a lot was like, it was a lot of math involved, right? Like, you know, when it comes to me and math, you know, and I don't say math like M-A-T-H, right? I say math like, you know, I'm from down south, so I say math like M-A-F, right? When it comes to me and math, right? You know, uh, we have a, a great relationship, you know what I'm saying? I am what you call, you know, um, a savant, right? Like when it comes to math, I am very, very good, right? I am excellent, you know what I'm saying? I am like, you know, tip top A1. But the moment that you mix math with English, all right, I am I am done, all right? You know, Pac-Man sound, like it's pretty much over, right? Um, and then I, you know, so they, they had a lot of like, you know, functions, uh, scripting statements, you know, did a lot of like, hey, if, you know, this input is, you know, greater than or less than or equal to, um, that kind of threw me off a lot, you know, I'll be honest. Um, so, took a while to get like motivated, self-motivated for the course, all right? Um, but I ended up, like I say, uh, I got into it. Um, how did I pass? I read the entire book, right? Um, there, there's not a lot of there's not a lot of video courses or anything that can prepare you for the WGU course. It's mostly reading, so this is a course where you might have to read. Um, I read the entire book, um, and it took a while for me to uh, pick up certain principles, um, certain uh, topics. It did take a while for me to pick it up, but once I kind of went over it and did the exercises that were in the um, book itself, I kind of start understanding it a, a, a bit more. Uh, one thing that I could not get through my head at all was like functions and like function statements. But there is a lot of carryover. Um, there's some carryover from the web development course. Uh, you're going to see that. And uh, you know, there's some project plus sprinkled in there, mixed with a little ITIL uh, use cases, things like that. Uh, so there's a couple things that, you know, what I'm noticing is like, it seems like the way that my program mentor kind of laid out my classes, there's carryover every step of the way. So there's, you know, um, there's a little bit of this in the next course. So that kind of helps you uh, better prepare and you've already absorbed that information and have some sort of foundation, you know, and um, I think that's a good thing. Uh, otherwise, like I'd be lost. Like if I just went straight from A plus and then to scripting and programming, I'd probably be like, you know what I'm saying? But uh, going steps, taking you know, uh, web development first prepared me for this class, and now I'm going into my next class, which is the Linux foundations. So you know, I think it's a little uh, from what I've read on Reddit, other sites. There's a little bit of um, scripting that goes into uh, that class, so as well as the commands and knowing what to do and things like that. So, um, how long did it take? I, I would say, like with me, you know, I, I might start a class, like you know, I might press the start button, right? But I might not start a class four or five days later. Just depends on what I got going on. But um, what I did, I took advantage of, right? So. You guys know I'm in the military, right? So we had like a three day weekend. We didn't have to work Friday. So what I did was I said, hey, I studied all night Thursday night. I studied all day Friday. I studied all day Saturday. I studied this morning and I took the test right now. I think it's 1.30. I scheduled the test for 12.30 and I took the test. All right, so like I put in, you know, I did read a little bit prior to, not much, maybe two chapters. Um, over the course of like a week and a half because I was very busy at work and then the last uh, three, four days I've been hitting it up, you know, 
like I said, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday, all day Saturday, and then Sunday morning. So yeah, I would say a good 20 hours of like dedicated, focused study time. And I did pretty good. This is probably the best, one of the best tests, you know, I've ever took as far as like what I actually, the score that I, the final score that I received. Um, but I put in that much work. So if it takes that much work to get past the remaining classes, then hey, that's what I gotta do. Um, right now, uh, I think I'm 80, I'm 82% done. Uh, with my degree plan. So I have a total of five more classes left and I'll be done. I started this term October the 1st and then um, I think I, got, I have until March the 1st or something like that. So, um, but yeah, so that was a uh, scripting and program. Yeah, I mean, just read the book, man. You know, I can't really break down. There's some math stuff in there that throw you off. You know, talks about input statements, input, output, things of that nature. It talks about variables. Believe it or not, man, the hardest thing for me was like trying to remember which way is less than and which way is greater than. Like I was like, man, I can't get, I can't remember this for the life of me, man. But you know, I, after like I say, studying, 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 got it, got it down. Um, so, all right, man. I get started in IT, what would you recommend to them? It's pretty simple. Start. Um, a lot of times I think people deliberate. They have, you know, a paralysis by analysis. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. Um, with Google, with the advent of Google, um, a lot of information is out there. And that could be a good thing and a bad thing as well. So it's like so much information, so many different Facebook groups, so many YouTube channels. One person tells you this. One person tells you that. I would say, and what I recommend for most of my students is just getting a solid foundation, right? Um, hacking sounds super cool and sexy. Cybersecurity is super cool. Uh, security is where the money's at. But if you don't have a good foundation, you'll never get to um, that next level. So my advice would be to get a solid uh, foundation. So since what do you, um, what like do you said, mean by like what do you mean by like a foundation so a foundation just pretty much learning the fundamentals right you can't uh go to uh you know a basketball camp and you don't know how to dribble you don't know how to pass and you're trying to dunk all right you just got there mm -hmm. uh, everybody doing warm you're trying to dunk right uh, you ain't stretch you ain't did nothing so you got to get uh fundamentals and most students um like i said so i'm geared towards certifications most students I always tell them to go towards a certification called um, A+. It's a CompTIA certification, and it pretty much is like your high school diploma uh, when it comes to IT. So you get a really good foundation in, in cloud computing, virtualization, software, hardware, pretty much all the things that's going to be covered no matter what direction you go in, right? So it's pretty much, or if you don't want to look at like your high school diploma, it would be like your general studies uh, when you're in college. It gives you a good foundation, and from there you can figure out Okay, when I was doing A+, plus, I really like network. So maybe I need to go to Network Plus or CCNA. When I was in A+, plus, I like security. So maybe I need to go to Security Plus or CEH. And all, the, all those things I just mentioned were other uh, certifications. So in summary, um, just pretty much figure out your path and get a strong foundation. And my recommendation is not, uh, it's not viable, it's not gospel, it's not um, for sure. But my suggestion, I tell literally all my students to go grab A+, plus first. Okay.